Aduh. Hmm. Life together, boy. To life together, boy. Alright, I guess so. Alright, I did it. I'm ready. Yeah. Welcome to the One Stop Podcast. Where we talk sports and all that other shit. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Bono? What's going on, Rail? Uh, not much, man. Not much, man. Uh, had a good weekend. We're back on a good Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Going up. Tuesday. Taco Tuesdays again? Yeah, taco Tuesday. No tacos today, but weeks off. Weeks yeah. off. So. Uh, we so, got a few things to talk about here. Super Bowl just happened. And uh, we want to talk about how Psycho Tom actually did nothing in the game, but the Patriots was just so great. So great. They just couldn't lose. <laughs> so, the Bowl went for Psycho Tom. Uh, what else we might talk about today? Maybe trade deadline. Trade deadline is going to be a deadline. Uh, That's a good one. Is Tom Brady the real GOAT? We might discuss that. You know, everybody's calling him the GOAT now, so that seems like a, a hot topic to jump up on or whatever. I so, like that idea. Yeah, we can talk about that too. Um, everybody seems to be going at um, 21 Savage. <laughs> <laughs> 21 Savage, um, not from America. Takashi says nine, is snitching on everybody. A lot to talk about, man. A lot to talk about, and, you know, I'm excited and. I say let's, let's let's get it popping, bro. Let's, let's get it. Let's do this. All right, fair game. <laughs> so um, I enjoyed the Super Bowl. Most people probably didn't. You say, well, why did you enjoy the Super Bowl? It had to be a terrible thing. I was like, well, the score was thirteen to three, and uh, unlike most Super Bowls, typically they are nice, high scoring games and everybody's excited. But uh, at the end of the day, football is one of those things where defense wins championships. And uh, a nice little fact here. I, didn't research this, but I'm, I'm just sure it's true. But the last, the uh, all-time high scoring teams has not won a championship. Like, all-time scoring teams haven't won a championship. And so the Rams came in at number oh, no, 10. So, so when the Rams had the greatest show on turf that first year, they didn't win? I they, thought, I mean, they yeah, didn't they, win. they were high scoring then, but they've, they've already fell down. They fell down a list. So they're, like, at a number 11. So two years ago, is it three years ago? The um, Atlanta Falcons. So you didn't research this right, because I'm I'm a yeah, yeah, I think about. I think when they, they were the greatest show on turf, I think they were probably the highest scoring team, and then they won the Super Bowl against the Titans that year. Yeah, but I think I could be wrong, but then that's why yeah, I'm they won they won the Super Bowl. No, I know they won, I know they, I know they won against um, the yeah. Titans, but I think they were definitely the they were that's when they started being known as the greatest show on turf. Right, and they so they, so run. they now they're ranked at number eleven. And now everybody else since then, when the Falcons not the and the Falcons played, mm-hmm. they were ranked at number one, uh-huh. and they didn't win a championship. I when think Tom was too. I think when Carolina Tom was. when Tom Brady won the Super Bowl when they went fifteen and zero and lost, they was ranked uh, top five uh, team. Uh, this actually the Rams this year, and even the Chiefs actually was the Chiefs they bumped top, up. Man. Yeah, they they didn't get it either. So um, at the end of the day, we like to be entertained, but defense win championships. I look, I'm not going to say I hated the game, but I was bored. I was bored. I think when I left your house see, around the third quarter. See, because your expectations were too high. I just, <laughs> look, Everybody else's expectations was, was too high. It was just, I don't know, man. Okay, I can deal with um, not a high-scoring game. But, man, the run, like, I, I like seeing running football. I like the running game. The running game wasn't there. It just seemed like there was no flow to the offense at all. Like, I'm right. to either side. So And it, that was just boring to me. Like, if they had some running game going and some passes that was going here and there and it just wasn't scoring, like, I get it. But it's just, it just it was a boring game. And so from a stat standpoint, um, Tom Brady completed 80% of his passes in that game. And his arguably best wide receiver, well, second best in Chris Hogan, was 0 for 6. Oh, yeah, he didn't catch and anything. so he didn't catch anything. They had, you know... A terrible outing just from Tom Brady. And I mean, from a Bill Belichick standpoint, when you get to coaching like that guy, he's going to take your best weapons away from you. And they didn't have to do that. So their goal was to let Jared Goff beat him in the air. And I don't think Jared Goff is that great of a quarterback, in all honesty. So it wasn't going to happen. Well, it, it showed that without a great running game, if he can't play action, he can't be an effective quarterback. And I, But I've seen a lot of people uh, talk, and they were like, well, if you like um, – no hit games in baseball, then you should have loved that defensive game. Totally. For me, it's different. It's just yeah, totally, totally different, different. man. It, it just it, it really don't go together, if you ask me, man. But yeah, nice. and, and for me, to be honest, I do love a no hit. 
and, and football. I do. I mean, I'm baseball because I, I like when, I don't know, for me, I'm behind the pitcher. I like reading the pitch. I right. like seeing if it's a fastball change up. And you get to the point to where it's a buildup in that game right there. So yeah. when you go front six, seven, eight, you know, nine innings. It's like, yeah. oh, it's, 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 it's a reward. I might, I might, I might see, see a no hitter. And, right? and honestly, to to be a, a perfect, perfect game. game. Yeah, yeah, to see to see a, a no hitter, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. You don't you don't see that often. I've been to a few baseball games and I've seen it get into like seven and eight innings. I was pissed. I've, I've <laughs> I was never, pissed. I've never. So, I mean, I've never seen the far as the baseball games I've been to. I've never seen a grand slam, and I've never seen uh, a perfect game or a no hitter. But Again, back, I mean, back to the football game, I need to know what was Ty Gurley's issue. Like, what, what's been going on with He's got a bad knee. He's got a bad I mean, knee. He's saying he's healthy. I mean, but sometimes I, mean, I tell people I got a lot of money in the bank. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, but, 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 but what reason would he have to say he's not healthy? Because, because he's, he's got his money already. Well, here's the thing. When you get to a game where – everybody's always looking for a reason to hit you in a location or hit you somewhere, then you actually can't tell your, your opponent where your weaknesses are. So, of course, he's going to be like, you know what? I'm healthy. I can go. And we see him go out there and he'll run two, three plays, and he but, looks okay. But this is after the game, too. After the game. Like, sometimes. This, this is listen, the is done. Like, sometimes, it off. sometimes if you believe you lie long enough, it becomes your reality. No, nah, <laughs> I, I think, to be honest, I'm be like, I just think they had a game plan at one point. And when they see, when they saw that they were getting stuck on the run those first few times, they abandoned it completely. Right. And they put the ball in golf hands and he couldn't do it. That's what it was. And that's what a mistake. Like, if you're a running team, you got to, especially if your defense is playing as well as the Rams were playing, right. you got to try to beat that ball. Especially if, first of all, if you see your quarterback can't handle it, he can't do it. Because, first of all, he's not getting enough time. You're not calling great screenplays where you can dump the ball off fast enough. Right. So you got to go ahead and run that ball. Well, I mean, they wanted to run the ball with C.J. Anderson more. Mm -hmm. And because he he was a bell cow against us. I mean, he cooked. And he cooked the last two weeks in the playoffs. He looked in uh, the regular season. He looked good. And so C.J. Anderson is a guy that's going to pound the ball up between the tackles. And uh, you get a guy like uh, Gurley who's catching the ball out of the backfield a ton. That's not C.J. Anderson's style. So when you try to get golf to throw the ball to him, I don't think he threw the ball to him once or twice out of the backfield in that game. Yeah, like, and to, to yeah. be honest, I, I, mean, I was listening to some people, and I, I agree a little bit. I just think golf was shook. Like, I think it got to a point where he realized the Super Bowl game was too fast for him. And, it, and once he saw that, Gurley. Man, that's Belichick. Look, once he saw Gurley and CJ wasn't getting that push on the run, he realized, oh, he's like, oh crap, I got this is on me now. I still also felt like they didn't open their playbook up. Like they ran the ball really tight. Mm-hmm. They didn't like put a lot of spread receivers out there to actually run plays. And I mean, they were three and out, three and out. They punt the ball eight times in a row, I think. And so, with that being said, that means that you're not opening the playbook up. I think that you know, uh, like uh, McVay said, he got out coached. No, he, he got out, coach. Most Belichick was in his head like since the top of the, like week two, texting him, and they was buddy buddy and stuff like that. I think that Belichick just uh pulled the fast one on him. It's just it's just crazy to me that if your defense played that well, you gotta put up more. Third. I mean, because to be honest, all season the Patriots defense haven't been that what haven't been that good. Right. Obviously. So you gotta like you gotta figure this out if. Especially because now I wonder what all these other coaches think, right? Because, you know, all these coaches who are looking for head coaches, they went out trying to find the next time, I mean, Sean McVay, right? I don't think that... That's Sean, what I'm but that's yeah. what everybody goal was, right? So now they see Sean McVay in the biggest game of his career, right? He supposedly turned around Jared Goff's, you know, career from Jeff Fisher. And now you look at the biggest game, and you're like, man, he couldn't do nothing with a Belichick defense that wasn't that great this year. Yeah, they're those, they're those. So now you got the the head coach in Arizona I mean, now. And all these guys. This is what I'm gonna say. What well, Belichick's never really got a good defense. I remember they had the worst defense at one point in time and still won the Super Bowl. The worst defense and still won the Super Bowl. So I mean, it don't matter what Belichick put out there. I think that he's able to actually manipulate a game plan and make it work in his advantage. And he sees your weakness, whether that's defensive line, offensive line. He's gonna take advantage of it. And so. He's going to have to, if uh, the thing is, it had Gurley, not Gurley, but golf had to beat them in the air, and it wasn't going to happen. And it showed. 
and Todd Gurley was hurt, so that's on them. Their defense played a, a hell of a, a game. Hell of a game. I Shout out to Wade Phillips, man. Jerry Jones, man, dumbass. Man, so, I, I wish I we could get. Wade, I wish we could get Wade Phillips in Carolina, man, because I think with the pieces we have, he can make. Man, stop out. begging. I'm not, I'm not begging. I'm just saying. I wish we had him. I wish. I wish we had him. Don't I you wish, wish y'all had him? Oh yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool, cool with him. Cool I didn't know what to do with him. Anyway, I'm cool without but but. No, we're not gonna get off topic here because we can argue about this all day. But we're not gonna get off topic here. All I'm saying is, so now, what are, is it? Tom Brady, or is it Belichick? I think it's a combination. I think it's a combination of both. But you can see, like the thing is, you people try to, to put them in a category where it's either one or the other. It can't be both of them. Uh-huh. Like I've seen that game against Kansas City. That was Tom Brady. Okay. The Super Bowl. That's Belichick. That's Belichick. That was all Belichick. Sure. Uh, against the Atlanta Falcons, and this ain't this ain't not a, a no shade thing. I ain't, I ain't coming for them, but for him to come back from twenty five down, he had to complete a shit ton of passes. And when it was like the last drive, they had to go eighty yards. That's Tom Brady. But look, but I think know, it's, but it's, I'm gonna get Belichick too, right? And to even bring up his defense in the past, right? He never had he had had great defense, but he's always had a bend don't break defense. Yeah. Right. You gotta be able to get turnovers. So look, because you can get to the twenty all you want, but if you score on three points, and I got a quarterback who's putting up seven, <laughs> yeah, seven, you know, seven plus three, uh, the seven, math don't add up. Don't add up. So I always think Bill Belichick always had a good defense because he's always had a, a bend don't break kind of defense. This is just this Super Bowl game. He had a bend, and we ain't gonna we ain't gonna give you a chance to get to the goal line. Right, and, and that's good defense. But I mean, I think one of the the more critical plays that came down to that game, and it wasn't even. Belichick's defense, it was Jared Goff. He threw a wide open pick with the game up. There's a wide open pick right. with the game up. So do you think all right, so um Cook, right? He's getting paid the most on that offense, right? Uh, uh, see what's right. See what's yeah. You think he should have came down with that? It's a tough catch. He got hit, but it hit his hands, bro. It was in his pocket. You get paid to make the big He got to come down with you it. You get paid to make the big Now, catch. granted, the play after that. Golf blew it. He, he yeah. just threw it. He threw it in the cupboard, man. Yeah, can't deny that. But Brandon Cooks being the highest paid receiver on that team, you're the number one guy. Even though I believe Cooper Cup was when he was there, but that's not the end there. But you're the number one guy. You got paid the money. That ball I hit you in Cooper the pocket. Gave, you got to catch Cup that. Gave them a different dynamic. It gave him a Junior Edelman look. Right. It gave him that slot guy to move around. But you're Brandon Cooks. You got to make that catch. I agree. You got to. I agree. And, and I, I saw. I saw the, uh, the in our group, the text message group, I seen you um, sent the Dominican suit joint. I didn't even respond to it. I didn't even respond Man, to listen. it. <laughs> Dominican suit said they won the game. <laughs> you know I beat that boy? <laughs> no, you didn't, Adrian Bronner. <laughs> Dominican suit boy. You didn't beat nobody. Y'all lost. Well, I mean, he might have played a good game. In his mind, he thought they was winning. Uh-huh. But um, no, McNabb, y'all wasn't winning. I wasn't winning. I was losing. Okay, so, J.R. Smith. So what we got? Who uh, what we got that is Tom Brady? How many more years he's staying early? I think Tom's got like solid one or two. Why wouldn't he just go out on top right now? Why? 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 Listen. For the Tom, Tom, no, Tom, Thomas. Thomas said he. I talked to him, and this is what he told me. Oh, okay. He said. What well, never did you die? Well, <laughs> I'm not telling you that. <laughs> but he said. Listen, if you want to, the game is easier than it's ever been for me to play. Because mm-hmm. he can't be touched. Because he can't be touched. He yeah. got hit one time in the playoffs. So he's playing seven on seven ball back there. It's more mental. So if you can go back there and manage a game and actually be the best player on the field when it actually matters, why quit? Why? Yeah. Nah, why quit? Nah, I agree, man. He, he, he it's should not like died. he's getting he banged up like Romo. To be honest, like, yes, he, had, he didn't have a great Super Bowl. But the rest of the season, he looked good, man. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, the rest of the season, he looked good. So, look, until he shows that he's Peyton Manning, he's falling off like Peyton Manning was. I think, I think the end of Peyton Manning really was that he he got a little old. And those, and injuries, those injuries caught injuries. up with him. Too. But I'm saying, until he shows a fall off like Peyton Manning did, where you're not winning without your defense at all. Because at the end of the day, Tom Brady still made that throw to Gronk. Yeah, like he made, he made, he put that throw there. Yeah, that's so it's saying. not like he doesn't have the arm strength to make that throw. Like Peyton Manning didn't have the arm strength. Yeah, but Peyton Manning was throwing some. Yeah, he was throwing some wild stuff. So yeah, Tom, hey man, if you can do it three, four more years, I mean, I don't want to see it because you know, I mean, look, man, you got a, you got a great, that's a great organization, man. Like, t- who would have thought when we first saw them against the Rams? 
that first year when Tom Tom first year in Super Bowl. Who would have thought that he would have been in nine? Was it nine, right? Yeah, it's been a nine. Nine Super Bowls. No one saw that. But he also went a break where he didn't win a Super Bowl in ten years. I get it, bro, but he still, he still was dominant. Nine. He still was yeah. dominant. Yo, he still was dominant. Like, think about it. If the Eagles don't win on the Philly special and his kryptonite Eli don't beat him twice, bro, that's <laughs> nine, bro. Yo, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, I know if, if all that stuff, you can't go there, but I'm like, man, bro. See, I'm going to tell you what's got to happen. They need the NFC East in the Super Bowl. That's the only people that can beat them. Yeah, that's that. Okay. You know what? It's the only people that you know, can beat them. It's funny you said that. <laughs> it's funny you said that. Man, look, I had that realization the other day. I was, I was thinking about like, and no East. other NFC team has beaten Tom, yeah. And the, no, and the, no other NFC division has beaten Tom. Walk to the East. None. But the East can't really, yeah, I can't, I can't really say none. That, that is a fact. I can't even argue that. Because we didn't do it when we went. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if it was the NFC South then, though. I think it was, they were in like a different division. Who was that? On um, the Panthers. Up, but no, y'all was in the South. I don't think it was, I don't think it was called the South then. Y'all was in the South. You sure? Yeah. That's a guarantee. I don't know. But I'm not going to argue with that. We can come back on that later. If that's wrong, then I will fact check it later. That's what we do. But either way, the NFC is the only one that's been able to defeat Tom. I was watching the um, Steve Harvey um, little clip. I guess he did the award show. And he was like, we're all here because of Tom Brady. He's like, all you all the players that didn't make the playoff, didn't make the Super Bowl was in, 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 um, in the audience. He goes, think about it. If you if Tom Brady were here, you would be having a Super Bowl. You would have a Super Bowl. I was like, damn, he's right though. You're right. You're right. It's, man. Man. it's the joy and effect, bro. It is what it is, man. It's the joy and effect, man. Like how you get past them. Like how you get past them, man. It's just it is what it is. So now who, who's up next? N- NFC West. Okay, yeah. See, I figured it wasn't NFC no. South. They were NFC South. Nah. Bro, I know things, man. I know things. Don't worry about it. But so who's next though? Like Oh, let's, let's jump into this uh, Anthony Davis journey. Well, no, I, I want to know, like, what? Oh, let, I mean, what are we looking forward to for next year? Then, I mean, I know it's early, but let's go ahead. Like, who, who do I got next who, year? Who projection? I mean, Vegas is already doing their count. Um, I got Tom Brady, and um, you know, I don't know. I got Tom Brady. I got Tom. I will say this: if Kansas City can get their defense together, hey, I'm, I got a question for you. I know. How I many know. times did Carl Malone beat Michael Jordan? Never. Man. Couldn't get past him, right? Couldn't get, Couldn't get in the rings either. As long as Tom around, I think that Kansas City actually would be good. They'll get one one day. No, but you know what the problem be- is? All these other organizations getting Bill Belichick play on um, coaches and stuff, thinking that that's how going to beat Bill Belichick. Uh, none of that works. And none of that <laughs> works. <laughs> Bill say, who you want? Take him. They're <laughs> looking stupid, bro. Bill say, take him. God, they're looking dumb out here, man. But look, I got... I'm gonna say Kansas City because I, I do like I do like Pat Mahomes, man. Uh, I like him, and I think they might be able. Cause what, who they hired? Did they hire Ty Bowles back? Who? Uh, Kansas City. No, they got um, a defense. Okay, so I think they will be better Spank defense. Hope, yeah. And um, to be honest, the uh, NFC is up in the air, bro. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you who I got NFC. This a, this this this. this is don't a, say Dallas, man. We'll no, 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 no. Okay. I got the Atlanta Falcons. And listen, I'm not going to argue that. And, and I give the Falcons so much shit, and I talk so much trash about them. I really like the Falcons as a team, but they're just easy to pick on. They're just fun. But um, yeah. so the Falcons, from a defensive standpoint, they um they had a lot of injuries on that. On one side of the ball, you can't overcome losing safeties and defensive tackles and cornerbacks and stuff like that. Like you, you need those dudes to be there. I got the Falcons actually making it there. And I think that with um, them getting Dirk Cutter back on the offensive side of the ball, that's going to be really good for them because Matt Ryan has a report. And they got a highly efficient offense. And so I think that if they can get their crap together, the Falcons could probably be in the Super Bowl. Or they can at least make it to the NFC Championship game. I'm and not going to argue that because, yeah, they, they did get their OC back. So I'm not going to argue that. But the thing is, the Falcons have let the city down so much. Many times. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I can see. I can like, see. Like, bro, like – I can see them easily. No, you said who I got to get there. I ain't saying they're going to win. You got to win. That's a different story. But, yeah, look, man, for me, the NFC is um, up, in the, up in the air, man. Anybody can make it. Um, yeah, anybody. I mean, shoot. 
the Chicago Bears had a turnaround this season. I mean, the but Vikings I, might be back. That's what I'm I mean, saying. I don't know. It, it's, it's a tough, it's tough. Like, shoot, I mean, you can't really look at no team and be like, they can't make it. Like, everybody really got it. I mean, sadly, stuff. the Cowboys can make it too. No, I agree. They I agree. Could, but, I agree. you know, I, that's, that's... So, I mean, push, that's my I take think. on who I think will do it next year. And that's our take on the Super Bowl and whatnot. I mean, you guys can comment. Let us know what y'all think about the Super Bowl. How did y'all feel about it? Was it boring to you guys? Uh... Did you guys enjoy the defense battle? I mean, just say comment, let us know, man. We'll talk about it. We love it. Um, now we wanted to get into um, some basketball here, man. Yeah. Hey, y'all follow us uh, on uh, on Instagram. Instagram. One, one Stop Podcast. Yeah. Um, AD, this uh, this I don't, what's going on in LA? Hey. I, I don't I don't really know what's going on in LA. It's a little weird. Um, it's like it's going on forever, but it's only been really going on really for about a week. Really, it's really been going on for about a week, but it feels like it's been about a month. Maybe because I'm a Laker fan and I'm waiting for something to happen and I'm, I'm constantly looking. Like, I want to see, I wouldn't mind seeing AD get there, but not at the expense of you getting rid of Kuzma, Ball, mm-hmm. Ingram, five picks. That's a lot. Rondo, Look, I, Stevenson. Only person that wasn't on the block was LeBron and uh, Caldwell Pope. Uh, I get I get that. And Hart? No, Hart's on there now, too. I, too. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why. Like, yeah, honestly, man. they're in a the win-now mode, but honestly, I don't think that they're going to win one this year anyways. So you might as well wait it out. And in the summertime, you can get a free. Right now, we're getting rocked by the Pacers. I right. said this score earlier, but listen, I do think, look, AD is one of those once-in-a-generation players, right? Like, they don't grow on trees. You can't, I'm gonna tell you what you this can't re- find an AD in a lot of places. But man, it just seems like we're giving up a lot. I'm going to tell you what this reminds me of. When what the dad Billy, yeah, this is exactly what this reminds me of, and the reason that I say this is because Billy King gave up four unprotected first round picks and he gave up some young talent just to get some old talent to in a win now mode. And honestly, we know Braun got about four to five more years yeah. where he can play at this level, and at that point in time, AD is going to be the man, and hopefully. You don't need those four picks. I can understand you looking in the future saying, well, we don't really need those picks. But I think that that's really not a, a great look. I wouldn't do it. Well, the problem is with that as well, I don't I don't think that's the same only because AD is not an old player. He isn't. Like, he's, what, 25? But the thing is, he, if he can't win now with what he got, I think that team could be equally as worse three, four years, five years from now when Brown is I, gone. To be honest, I really think – yeah, but we're not. They're not looking for that. They're looking into mm-hmm. for. They're looking for next year, and like whatever they can add with AD and LeBron for next year, or whatever. They're not looking four or five years down the road right now. Because first of all, in LeBron time there, if he can get one or two, it's success. Call it what it is, man. It, it's success because it's hard to win the NBA, NBA right now with the Warriors doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? So it's hard. But I look at it this: ball can go. He can go, man. Yeah. He, he, he's, his shot is not developed. Like, you remember this one time we had this conversation? I know we had a conversation. I said I thought ball could be something. That's before. Well, I, I'm talking about something else. But listen, Yo, you, in you, college, he actually had a decent little shot. Like, he it, wasn't it even was, the it was best. Going he wasn't even the best player in college. Who was his best player on the team? I said he wasn't even oh, the no, best player. Oh, no, he wasn't the best player in college. I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. say that. No, he's the best player on this team. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But listen. Oh, man, Fox, get a boy. He had, he had his shot together in college and all that stuff. What and I thought, I did not know he was not aggressive. Like, he's not aggressive at all. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. You see who his daddy is? And, and I'm saying that his daddy speaks for him. That's my boy, my boy. Yeah, you're right. So, you're so right. he's passive. He's, yeah, all, he's yeah. always going to be passive. So, you know, he can get on the court and control stuff, but he ain't going to dominate. He ain't going to take nothing over. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, don't care. I don't care how old I, I was, whatever. My parents ain't never spoke to me that much. Like, oh, yeah. I, you don't even hear uh, Lonzo say anything. Like, it, like yo, I... It's plenty of times I told my pop, hey, I got this, man. Calm down. I, I hear what my dad's saying, but he this still, is how he I still talk. He came oh, back talking records, you know. Exactly. He realized that the short stay in L.A. is about to be done, so yeah. the ball ball woke back up out of his nap because he was quiet until Bron got this point. Lost on his Look, this is what I want us to trade, right? I want us to get rid of Ball, Ingram, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we can get rid of two picks, uh-huh. and we can get rid of Luke Walton. Good thing you're in the GM. Lou Walton, no. Trade him, too. Bro, they, they trade on, you was hype on Lou. Well, I was never hype on Lou, bro. Don't you never. was hype on Lou. Who I always said I wanted. 
Who I get? Who I do? Thank you. Give me Mark Jackson, bro. That's what I want. That's what I want. Mark Jackson. Exactly. Man, Luke can go, bro. Because think about it. Luke's just not a good coach, man. He, he's just not a good coach to me. He's just not, man. Look, people look at it, what he did with Golden State. This was Golden State, man. That you could throw. Shoot, they had on. Uh, what's my man name? The black dude that coached the Lakers for a little bit. He coached LeBron, too. Um, Byron, no, not Byron Scott, the other black guy with bald head and glasses. I can't think of his name right now, but he coached them last year, what we all were year before for a little bit, and went undefeated for his little time there. Yeah, yeah. So look, just throw him in there, bro. If the Golden State is a well oiled machine. If you don't mess with it, it's going to run. You know what I mean? So Luke can go to it, and I'm happy for uh, Cell Phone, man, D'Angelo Russell, man. I'm happy that he went somewhere. He ain't like my boy Cell Phone. Look, I'm happy he went somewhere and showed that Luke Walton just can't coach, bro. You ain't like my boy Cell Phone. Nah, I ain't like what he did. I don't dislike Cell Phone. And I'm not mad that we got rid of him because the only reason we got rid of him was to get rid of a bad contract and Timothy Mozgov that the um, that bust the, the brother. Did a bad contract deal with that. He was giving Mozgov like 15 mil or something. Like, yeah, send him to Mozgov. Shoot, we still paying for the Lou Day contract. Like, he settled, but I think still like five, six mil on the books. Yeah, they'd be all right. I mean, rich people. First, first but I'm just problems. saying. That's cool. I know first world. No, problems. it's definitely. <laughs> first class. But first no, world I'm problems. just saying, man. What I'm saying is like, Ooh. I'm not mad that we got real D'Angelo Russell for that reason. So I don't want to give up this much to get AD, but. If we do, we gotta have a plan. I don't know what I didn't know. So what what's the plan? It's a Braun, A D, Rev Bonham, one and stop podcast. Right there, shoot that drug. Hey, <laughs> we can throw our boy Rodman out there. I know Rod is shoot that ball. Man, <laughs> no. Rod, Rod's getting a fight. He gets hey, a man. Tech. It'll be Ron. It'll be Rod. It'll be, be Ron. Rondo. <laughs> Rod Ron. Rondo. Probably bring Melo back. <laughs> Metal World Peace. A <laughs> D. <laughs> And LeBron, bro, that's all we need on the court, bro. That's all we need. I don't know, man. It's just, it's hard, man. It's, it's hard to see that Lakers really trying to get a player and the villain is like, nah, we want everything. To give us give us Magic Johnson and the cure he got for AIDS, too. I mean, that means they realize that they're about to lose their best player. They're about to lose, like, a top five player in the league. Nah, they don't. I, they, you saw the about it. He's like, I ain't coming back. You know, I'm good. But, dude. He don't want to be there, man. Like, what's making me mad is everybody's acting like uh, him and Kawhi Leonard was the first one, like to do that type of thing. Do we? Are we forgetting what Melo did to the Knicks and the Nets? Yeah. Like yeah. Melo took everybody from the um, Knicks, bro. The Knicks gave up everybody to get Melo, and been salty ever since. Like, man, they got rid of so much talent. That's why you know what? That's what makes me nervous right now. What? Because what? we can't, we ah, oh, we can't give up. So like, we can give up. See, now, now you think about it. Uh-huh. Listen, we can now give you up. Think about listen, it. Uh-huh. Listen, listen. We can give up Ingram because Ingram's only last year of his contract anyway. He can go. Right. All right. Ball, I don't like him. He can go. You but, like him, Ball? I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna check a find him more videos. Find him. Find him. I'm fine. I can find him. But Kuzma. Uh huh. Zubac. Uh huh. And Hart. Matter of fact, we can give it a Hart too. Hart can go. But Zubac and Kuzma. I don't know, man. I don't want. I don't want them going, man. That's just me. I don't want them going. Hey, man. I hope y'all get rid of them. I hope y'all get rid of all of them, dude. Nah, man. I don't I'm gonna still be a Lakers fan, though, kind of, because I mean, if AD get there and Bron there, you know I'm gonna ride for the Lakers. Oh man. For like a few years. The way we looking, like I don't know what. What's, anybody know the score to the Lakers game on? Um, they're playing the Pacers right now. They were down by a lot earlier. Because we might not even beat the Pacers tonight. They don't even got all the people and LeBron's back. We're down by 20 at the well, half. I don't want to play, man. Yeah, he's done, man. He's he done with his team, man. I don't blame him, man. I don't. I don't blame him, man. It is what it is at this point. All I know is, I'm going to trust, I'm gonna trust um, Magic and Rob Polinka. Oh, yeah, I got 86. No, that's 68, my bad. 68 to 93. <laughs> <laughs> my, eyes little, my eyes are twisting me a little bit here, man. Hey, it's bad. We're in the third quarter, but now they got 93 on us. I'm in trouble. All right, man. We're done, man. It is. Look. Orlando Magic is the worst yeah. franchise in sports history. Uh, I don't know, man. I would, I would say Cleveland or something, but they just got lucky with LeBron. That's that's a lot of luck. No, bro, they got lucky because they got LeBron. But think about it. If LeBron went for Cleveland, like think of LeBron was, if LeBron was LeBron, but he was from LA, 
Yeah. You think he would have stayed or went back to they Cleveland? Probably, they probably would have sold the Cavs. By now. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, the Cavs got lucky so much that they got one of the greatest players ever to be from that area. Like, think about it. What if LeBron was one of those players? Because like, he's from Akron, right? And he hated Cleveland so much because how they looked at Akron. When he said that, he didn't like Cleveland a little bit because of the way he looked at Akron. And then he bossed them boys out a little bit. What if he's just like, yo, I don't even care for Cleveland. And, like, decided, what if he to pull, um, what's the uh, the GM for the Broncos right now? Who, Elway? Elway. What if he pulled the Elway and said, I ain't blaming. <laughs> 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 what if he said that? Bro, Cleveland would have been done, man. Done, man. It would <laughs> Boy, man, that would But it might be the man. I don't know, man. I mean, but, you know, y'all say Joe said Lando gets rid of everybody. Well, they kind of do. Well, because they have no choice, man. Penny, they got a shack, they get rid of all the depot. I think, well, the shack one was the worst. Yeah. Because that was on their part, stupid. They, were, they didn't want to pay shack 100 million. I think the problem, I'm going to tell you why Lando, they might be the worst. If they could be, they're a small market team. Yeah. And so they ain't, they ain't funded by big dollar bills like that. And so when you talk about a small market team, when you realize that you got to dig deep in your pocket, actually compete every year and they put some talent on the floor, it's like, uh, nah, we good on that. We straight. They don't want to pay nobody. And so if you don't want to pay nobody, you're good enough to have a franchise in your city, but not good enough to actually win a championship. That's what it comes down to. Okay. The, the Shaq, Shaq is the only one I have to agree to say they messed up on. Penny got hurt, man. You can't you can't do no of that. Grant Hill got hurt. T Mac T Mac T Mac got hurt, and then you could do the that. white. They could no, nah, they could have. The white one. The, the white had issues, man. Like the white wanted to be there, don't want to be there. Wanted to be there. First of all, we didn't see the white do nothing since he left there. Yeah. Real talk. Old you Depot, know? let's see. Well, they got rid of him prematurely. They didn't know what he was going. Yeah, you didn't know what Old Depot was going to be like. Old and, Depot. And Tobias Harris, he's shooting out of the gym right now. Old Depot went to OKC. He still ain't know what he was. And then he got the... Um, yeah, he got the Indianapolis. And, you know, Indiana. Indiana yeah. Right. yeah. He got there, and now he's, he's playing well. So, But I can't fault them for getting one of the players. Now, Tobias Harris, that's a different story. He's playing well now, but... Yeah, but we still... He's the same, though. Yeah. So Shaq is the only one I can look at them and go, mm, okay, they jacked that one up. Because Shaq was balling. You knew Shaq was great. Yeah. Like, there was no question what it was. The rest of those, like the white was already on the downside. Penny already got hurt. Grant Hill, we come on, man. We can't we can't fault nobody for the Grant Hill though. Like it just went terrible. T Mac, his back issues was crazy. I was listening to him in a Kobe interview today. <laughs> Talking about Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> yo, Kobe is savage, bro. Kobe, Kobe is Kobe savage, said, uh, dog. Kobe said, yeah, we was playing. T Mac said, no, we went. He said, go to your score. Kobe said, yeah, I know the score. 11 to 3. <laughs> I remember this score. Yeah, yo, Kobe is savage. Kobe was like, "Oh, how's his back? Oh, now he's ready for you." Okay, all right, we're gonna test that back. That fool went up for yeah. the yo. First of all, T Mac was already down on the floor. Then Kobe jumped up and came down on his back. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his boy. Kobe, why? Kobe, Kobe was like, yo, I'm winning by any means necessary. Like, I, I think Kobe gave some of the best advice though when he told Harden that he ain't going to championship playing like that. And look, and what I'm what I mad how some people are trying, trying to twist it as if Kobe's hating. He wasn't hating. He's speaking from experience. Like, yo, you can't try to shoot your way into a championship. I mean, he learned it. Jordan learned it. I mean, because you're going to get gassed. I mean, he, Harden at the end of the game setting on the line, I think they was gassed. Well, as a team, they shot, yeah, they shot like three for like 27. But I'm happy, I'm, happy but, with, I'm happy with what Harden did because Harden came right back and said Kobe's right. Yeah, he's right, but I, he also realized that he can't. He is tough. One on three, one on four is a, is a tough battle. But people always try to act like Kobe's hating, man. Like, like, yo, people's asking this man for his opinion for a reason, and he's giving it to him. He ain't dogging nobody. Yo. People always want to like hate on Kobe because he, because he feel like he's one of the greatest. He's supposed to feel like he's one of the greatest, and he got a lot of people that will back him up and say he's one of the greatest. So why you hate? You know why I just hate, man? The dude Nick Wright, bro. Dude, what's his name? With the, with the under chin beard. Oh, I hate under, the under dude. Beard. Yeah. yeah, the dude when got yeah. I yeah, that. I've seen Nick Wright in the streets. I might punch him. I in might, the bro. Face. I, 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 that dude, he's annoying, bro. I hate. It. I be like, yo, I just be want to listen to Chris Carter and then he starts talking. I be turning. Yeah, it bothers know. me. It, yeah. it bothers me. It not. But I can't. Orlando might be the worst franchise. Might be. We say Harden or Giannis. 
to be honest. Well, for MVP or I just mean, a player? Of, I mean, um, all of them. I mean, well, for MVP, it might be hard, but there's a be hard. Better, better player, Giannis. He's just, cause he's just a free agent. If, if Giannis ever get a jump shot, man. Yo, my man, AD said he might want to go play with him. That's not bad. Because you ain't, oh, man. Look, Giannis, what, averaging 30 some of dunks and layups? <laughs> yeah. Because ain't nobody else, man. Who's on that team? Uh, your boy. Point oh, guard. Let's go, man. Lesso's there, Middleton's there, Browning's there. Nah, it's not. Uh, Lesso's one of those, you know. Lesso's Lesso. Let me just go there. They got people there, man. They got they got squads and stuff there, man. Lesso's Lesso. We don't never know. What happened to your boy 21 Savage, though? Mm. I'm going to wrap this up. What happened to your boy 21? First of all, I don't listen to 21 Savage. 21 Savage is, I only know... In fact, I don't even know no songs about 21 Savage. But you know songs I know a lot. That's the only song that... And, uh, you know, I got one, two, three, four, five. Six, um, and my seven, thing, all these, eight, all eight. these, all these new mumble rappers... No, you know 21, bro. Don't, that, I, don't that, add that like you on those. That's the only song you got? You know what? At the end of the day, 21 Savage might be like Maroon 5. Like, he come out and do his hits. I'm like, you know what? I know those songs. Hey, bro. Yeah, hits, all right, with <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. My man Gucci Man got hits too. Bro, he got hits by himself. I don't know that. He got Billboard hits by himself. Who? 21 Savage? Nobody else going to get on a track with him. That's yeah, not true. Sure. Yeah, what J. Cole just did. What, what, that, what, that, 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 that one track. Nah, nah, that, yo, 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 that one track. That one track. One track. That, one track. that one track. That one track. He got a show with Drake. I don't know. What song is it? He remember it now, but he got Yeah, it. exactly. I don't know. Why well, don't let me find it? Man, you, you, know, find you, know it, what? you know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this podcast. No, I gotta shut down. No. no, man. We need to talk about it, man, because I don't want to talk about it. No. Might be at some it might be some people out there that need to get their papers together, bro. That might might need to get their papers together because they might get deported. But Trump coming as all. Not, not me. <laughs> not me. Not me. But you got your you got your green card up? I need green card. You <laughs> sure? I mean, I'm, you know, I wouldn't mind leaving America. Look, when you back home, bro. Wherever you're going to send me at, that's where I'll be at. Look, when you I'm back, good. Look, when you back home, your accent different, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, man, I still trust Stanley, man. I'm just I'm saying, man. Thing. You set your papers up to date? You'll find out soon. All right, so look, we got 21 getting deported, maybe, right? Yeah. I don't know where you're going to go at. And Sakashi 6 9 tell on everybody. That boy got big problems anyway. <laughs> You know, Joe might be the best place for him because he's wild not like last year. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I thought something was gonna happen to him. Like, I thought Chief Keefe was gonna whack I that thought, boy. Man, I was like, yo, somebody gonna somebody get him. Whack that little boy. Man, it was just man. No, nah, I can guarantee you, I don't know any of his songs for a fact. Well, you know the sticky uh, got the blicky uh. Yeah, he got the blicky. Uh, the, I thought it was Cardi B song. I don't know his song. <laughs> I just, you know, Jesus and Meryl. Yeah. They was mocking him with a job. That's all the reason I do that part. It's like, what? Nicky, y'all got that boogie up. Oh, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't bad. Song. I don't know, bro. Look, hey, Takashi's telling on everybody, bro. He might be telling on us right now by telling on him. That dude is always telling on everybody right now. Hey, man, but I wish them all well, man. Look, man, it's a man. I'm, a, I'm they, all they, positive vibes. They got uh, not really first world problems, but, uh, you know. They got rich people They got rich people problems. Rich people problems, man. Look, yeah, come on, at the end of the day, I wish everybody blessing you, bro, man. Get out there and be good, man. Hey, man, if y'all ain't following us on uh, Instagram or uh, Facebook or, uh, you know, any social media sites, the One Stop Podcast, y'all make sure y'all uh, tune in, tell your friends, tell your mom and them, let everybody know we out here. Yeah. We will be um, updating our YouTube. We're getting our YouTube channel together. We just didn't want to start going and putting things out there. And it's not ready. I mean, look, we're trying to be professional people. Give us give us a little props here. Give us a little bit of credit. So once we have that all up and running, uh, we'll get back to you guys on that. So you guys can go back and look at the videos and possibly, I don't know, critique us, man. Let us know where we, you know, what we'll show on here. Because we're not, we're not fact-checking everything. We're not acting like we know everything. So... I mean, give us some comments and feedbacks on how you guys feel about how we're doing here. We're really trying to push this thing. So, I mean, if you want to, you know, hashtag or add the One Stop Podcast when you're posting things, it would be much love and respect for much. So, we appreciate right. it. Welcome to the One Stop Podcast. Oh, you can't do that at the end of the podcast. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got to not realize. I'm about, hey, man. So by, the, by the way, you guys, I'm taking applications for the calls, man. Some, look, sometimes you got to move on, man. Sometimes, sometimes you, you think it's working out, you just realize somebody's doing stupid stuff like that. And it don't end well, man. But again, hey, 
We love you guys and appreciate you guys for joining in. It's the One Stop Podcast, and we're out.